Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, a video just about how to chicken wire the inside of a hollow ferrous cement structure, such as these smaller gourds. And uh, so after getting cutting this chicken wire crosswise, which we talked about before, but um, basically crosswise, which makes it all stretchy and also the prickle, prickly ends help to cling to each other. So after that, uh, <coughs> one has to put it around the structure, but with this one here, I did it on the outside first and Hayley is having to push the chicken wire in through this gap and, and try and pat it down on the inside. So I thought with this one, why not try, um, and it works pretty well, uh, co coil it up, curl up the, the strips and um, just pop them in on the inside of the framework before it's got all the thinner framework, just the big framework, and I've managed to, I've done that here and right up to here. So now I'm able to put the thinner, in this case is number eight wire, or um, I'm not sure what the gauge is in, it could be, it's it's the normal old, old fashioned uh, fencing wire that's not high tensile. You could use high tensile, but this is medium tensile, which is good because you can sort of bend it better but it it holds its shape pretty well so you can spiral around so that's the next stage after putting the inside chicken wire in and sort of it doesn't have to be perfectly in because you can you can pull it in with the big um, stitching wire um, stitching needle uh, when you stitch the inside and the outside ones together so this is just a matter of getting a reasonable sort of length and uh, winding it round and fastening it on as you go. So I'll just, as a last thing, this is, yeah, fastening, uh, we're now up to fastening on the, uh, the smaller, uh, well if these are the ribs then these are like the stringers I suppose, like on a boat. Um, and they are fairly close together. Oh, they're, four inches, hundred mils, and this is our little tool which is real basic, um, four holes with a, a countersunk so you can locate the two ends and then you twist, with a twist of the um, cordless drill you can wind them tight so easily and then you bend the ends around and uh, so the, the name of the game here is to keep the, the, the curvature sort of uh, fair, as they say in boat building, keep it a fair curve and not, not no sharp ends, you know, unless you want them. <laughs> but this is a regular sort of smooth, uh, good hue shape. So you put the ends in like that, do that, and uh, Bob's your uncle. That, that is actually a stainless steel bolt, by the way. Yeah, it's probably 12 mil half an inch and you can get them and they're quite cheap and um, can grind the end off to fit your chuck a bit and uh, yes they've worked really well save a lot of time in the, in the uh, process so uh, yep that's that's about it for the so the inside of chicken wiring the inside and then there's I only need one layer but if it overlaps you've got two or maybe even three sub dunks but it doesn't matter and then the outer layer we wrap around probably two layers and once again overlap so two to three and uh and then the chicken uh the stitching which we'll do a special video on later so this is dream space renaissance workshops gisborne and don't forget we got a book fantastic ferris event on amazon and it's also found on apple uh through smashwords yeah okay i should have a link to it